Hey, what's up, family? So I wanted to take a second to thank everyone for helping me through this time. If you haven't heard about it yet, my car was stolen. And also with all of my equipment in it for my outside street serenades. Um, for those who are just meeting me, my name is Aaron Hill. And I have a concept called Street Serenades, where I take my music all around the community since the pandemic. And I share in free concerts live. So needless to say, even if I didn't do that, having a vehicle stolen would be a big thing. Um, but in addition to that, you know, I had my equipment there, so I lost a lot. Um, and so I wanted to take a second to first say thank you to everybody that's poured out with your support. Um, if you want to hear more about my story, look at the pinned comment that's there where it says my GoFundMe to recover here. If you click on that, that'll take you to the video. Um, and then I also want to tell everyone about some things this week that you can support me on if you're able to, um, to help me through this time. So tomorrow, my band, if you're in Baltimore, my band will be at Keystone Corner, uh, the Aaron Hill Trio. Keystone Corner, tomorrow night, 7.30 um, show. It's two, two sets, actually, 7.30 and 9. It's only $20 total, and I'll be doing a solo piano set as well as the trio will do the second set. That's tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, and then in addition to that, Thursday, my mother's birthday. So we're going to be at Lake Montebello. My mother said that she wanted me to do uh, a street serenade for her birthday because we're out at Lake Montebello on a weekly basis. So I was like, sure, cool. So we'll be out at Lake Montebello um, at the corner of 33rd and Hillen on Thursday. Let's see what's... The date, Thursday, May 20th, um, 6 to 8 p.m., Lake Montebello. That's Thursday, May 20th, 6 to 8 p.m. Come join me and my mom, as well as my artists and musician friends. We're going to jam together and just have fun. I thank everyone who stepped up to even help me make this possible with my current loss. So thank you so much. Um, so that's Thursday and then Saturday street serenade number 127, um, behind the Enoch Pratt library, Patterson park, um, all are welcome. It's going to be from six to 8 PM as well. So all that information is in that pin comment that you see right under here. Hey, Sylvia, thanks for watching. Hey, Eunice, drop a line. Let me know how you all day is going so far. Um, so those are the three immediate things. Of course, you know, the first and probably most obvious is uh, to support me. You can share my GoFundMe. And again, if you haven't heard about what happened, just click the GoFundMe link. You'll see the video and the information for those other events this week is right under it. I'm excited. Oh, man, this this could not be a better week, um, uh, you know, at, in lieu of what is going on. And, you know, many people have said, like, how are you dealing with this so well? It's just because I don't know any other way to be, you know, hola, Sylvia says, hey, hola. <laughs> I don't know any other way to be, but just positive. Hey, Delima, hope that you're well. Uh, I only know how to be positive. That's just it. You know, I give credit to my I give my mom a shout out just about every day of my life, just because, you know, she prepared me for moments like this with just continuing to create a secure individual, you know, who would be able to not be knocked off track by unfortunate things happening in life. So, <clears throat> yeah. And then other pe other things that people have said is like, you know, how do you get the courage to just reach out and ask people for help and support? Real easy. One word at a time and one honest moment at a time. I was speaking about the other day, you know, I've spent at least the last like three years of my life building what I call relational wealth. And it's just because, you know, I'm about the community. I'm about togetherness. I'm about like sharing love. That's what these street serenades are all about. You know, sharing love like as much as possible through anything that I can. So I realized that the other day I was talking to someone. I was like, wow, I've been creating relational wealth. So that's why, you know, when this event happened, like real talk. I didn't even like the motivation was already inside of me. I didn't need anybody promising me any kind of things on like, nah, man, things happen in life. As they say, shit happens. And the truth is the way I look at it, it's like, 
things just happen, you know, you know, (laughs) you just have what you have as far as how to get through it, you know, and you either have been in a kind of environment where, you know, you have to pick yourself up, work things out, or, you know, you're not, and maybe you don't have the support, you know, or what have you, or your life has just been really, really tough, you know, so I have so much empathy for people who's experienced this and worse, you know, um, but I only know one way to be, and that is just positive and moving forward. As soon as it happened, I was just like, okay, you know, took a deep breath. Of course, I felt it. I was like, man, it's kind of fucked up. But I was like, there's other, this is life. This is life. Life is filled with things, some things that feel good, some things that don't, some, some things we label as good, some things we label as not so good. They're just things. We're the ones labeling. Nothing is nothing. <laughs> we put the labels on them. And then from there, we decide what they're going to be. And then, you know, depending on where we are in mindset, we're either able to think about it and move in a positive direction or it goes the other way you know or it's something we can recover from or like the inevitables in life something that we can't no matter what we want (laughs) so i always try to prepare for that balance that balance of knowing that there are some inevitable things first of all life is just life there are some inevitable things that will happen that you can't do anything about it just is what it is and you have to accept it and then there's other times when you can bounce back from something better than ever and that's where we're going with this Hey, Leslie. Hey, Amy. (laughs) Yes. Thank you, Sylvia. Yes. So, you know, here I am. And so, um, but I know many people are just like, wow, how do you even just feel so confident about asking people for support? Well, I pour out so much into the community. I pour, 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 pour. Like, because it's just who I am. It's just what I love to do, and I don't do it for any kind of thing in return other than building relational wealth. And so I know as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be an interesting situation because, man, people are going to feel this even more intensely than I will because people will just be like, wow, you do so much good out there. Like, I'm so this hurts so much. And so now I found myself comforting people, you know. Which, of course, grand opportunity, because all I want to do is be there for others and just we're here together. So, um, yeah, for me, that's life. There are things that are worse. I have empathy for people in worse situations that don't get the opportunity to recover like this. And then there's you beautiful people who I absolutely love and I appreciate. So, again, the way that you can continue to support to help me to f- do a full, oh, I got a few things to tell you all about. First of all, you know, I'm happy to say, and it's, I did a GoFundMe for a friend of mine like several years ago when she went through a very, uh, a very unfortunate event in her life, raised $21,000. As soon as this happened, I'm like, let's duplicate it. Let's get it. So I set my GoFundMe for 20. And so right now and in two days, we're at combined, like from the GoFundMe as well as PayPal and Cash App and some other things that are coming in, combined like 6000 Shout out to you because you helped that to happen. And I'm pushing forward, putting it everywhere, all my communities across the globe, you know. Um, and so that's been a huge thing. I even had someone to reach out and it's not finalized yet, but... Someone wants to give me a car as well, even um, free of charge to help me out. So um, I've taken this and I I have turned it around. You know, I was telling somebody earlier, I know different people believe in different things. I don't believe that there is like something somebody is trying to tell me or something. Nah, life, this is life. Things happen. And I have the ability to say, okay, and to turn it around and channel it. And right now I'm being successful. There are other times in life where the inevitable is a life where it doesn't happen. And you have to make peace with that too. Serenity. Give me the first three lines of that serenity player. The rest of it, I won't show you all my trash can, but you can, you know, you can keep it over there. But, <laughs> but to be able to know the things that you can change, be aware of the things that you can't, the wisdom to know the difference that allows you peace at every step of the journey. It allows you acceptance at every step of the journey. It allows you 
<sighs> that ability to make it through that equanimity, that ability to hold your emotions, to work with yourself, to allow yourself to feel, but, you know, to not allow those feels to make you, you know, just not be able to maintain. So, anywho, this was just one huge, huge thank you. Please share this with other people, whatever. Definitely want to let more people know um, because I'm building relationships. And all I'm going to do is do what I do as a giver, which is that, man, I said I said two things on social media in the last couple of years that relate to this. One is that as a giver, I only ask in order to give in return. Um, the only time I ask for anything is just to be able to give it away. And then the best gift that I can receive as a giver is the opportunity to gift another and so we're going to the moon, people. Let's do it. Eunice says, when you give the love in the manner that you do, that love comes back to you. Thank you. And I think you just wrote me a poem, like right in the middle of this um, live stream. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to everyone else here that's hanging out, especially my new friends from all over the globe. I love you. If you're not on Clubhouse with me, join me over on Clubhouse. Download Clubhouse Audio Chat app and look for Aaron Hill TV. I have an inspirational morning show that I do there regularly that I want to stay in touch with you um, about just all these topics. How to just stay sane in life. Let's get it, people. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please come out this week because my trio tomorrow. I'm so excited about it. I want you all to join me for that. It's going to be the first time my trio is in a. A venue of this sort. We've been playing outside, doing the damn thing. Ooh, I'm I'm already feeling it. I'm gonna give you a solo piano set first, and then the trio's coming on. Join me Thursday for my mama's birthday, <laughs> and then Saturday for Street Serenade number one twenty seven, Patterson Park, um, Enoch Pratt Library. Look at the information in that comment that you see pinned right there. Oh, I can actually point at it right there. All right. Much love, everybody. I will talk to you all soon. And of course, keep you updated on the progress of this road to recovery. Gonna be back and better than ever. Y'all know that, right? Ain't no stopping us now. All right. I'm not turning this to a concert because I can't sing. Peace. All right, everybody.